Hello future toppers. So we are going to launch this particular series of the concept plus PYQ so that we get 100% marks in our physics. So this series contains topic wise things. So this is our first part in which we cover electric charges and electric field with this PYQs. So let's begin with this topic introduction. So what is actually the part of introduction? We study here the electric charges and field in the chapter electrostatics. This is a part of electrostatics. So what is electrostatics means? The mean of electrostatic that means the study of a static charges. See electrostatic self defines a particular term that is electro which is related to the charges. And static means rest. Simple. When the charges are in rest, we are when we are going to study that particular scenario or phenomena, we are saying that this is a part of electrostatics. Nothing else. Clear? So, firstly, we have to understand what is electric charge. Then we understand, okay, what kind of phenomena we are studying in this particular series. Clear? So, Electric charge is a fundamental property of a matter which is responsible for electric force between the bodies. So, what is the mean of a fundamental? See, the mean of a fundamental is a basic, basic property of a matter. Okay, we are saying also this is an inherent property of a matter or inherent. Inherent property of a matter. We are saying as an intrinsic So this is the intrinsic inherent or the basic property of a matter which is responsible for the force between two bodies. Okay, like we have taken two electrons which is placed at a smallest separation. So we are found that they will be repelled, they will be attracted. If they will be have a same like charges, it, it will be have a like a different kind of a nature of the charges. So this will be depends on that. So firstly, we understand how many types of charges are there. Okay. So types of electric charge. The first type is a positive and the second one is a negative. So basically the charges are our two types. Clear? Which is exist in the nature. Basic properties of a charges. If I'm going to start. So, I hope you understand the topic firstly charge in the basic manner or in the standard manner. So, like the basic properties of a charges, if we are going to start with this point attraction and repulsion. So, it defines that like charges basically. Like charges repel each other like means what like same type of a charge. means positive positive negative negative okay so like charges means same type of a nature of the charges repel each other and unlike charges attract each other So the reason and the curiosity against that why it will be happen. So later we will study on that like a why the like charges repel each other and why unlike charges are attract each other. What is the kind of a scenarios? What kind of a field doing this kind of a work? So we will see later on that point. Now we will start. The second property 
So the second property is electric induction. So what is that? So the mean of that, when the charge bring to another uncharged body, like we have taken this as a charged body, and if we bring this uncharged body, okay, so because of induction, the charge, like how this will be a neutral, if I'm just taking, there will be no charges, that means, or uncharged, this will be that number of a positive charge equals to the number of a negative charge. Understand? So because of this charge, if we place this charge at a particular distance, like here. So it will be attract this negative charge. And if we do earth, so this negative is actually closed by this or bound by this positive charge, but remaining are flows from the earth. So if we removed again the earth system, the charge, which is uncharged body, this becomes negative charge. So, by the help of induction method, we can create a charge, okay? The next thing, charges are quantized. What does it mean? Like, we can transfer the charges only by the whole multiples of the electrons. As we can say that, Q is equals to plus minus N. E, where N is equals to 1 plus a 1, 2, 3 and so on. And the E is a charge of the electrons which is in Kula. Hope you understand students. So the next thing is a very bold form I just written there. Electric charge is a conserved. Okay. So what it's mean? According to that an electric charge neither be created nor be destroyed. That means the total net charge of an isolated system is always conserved. Hope you understand. See, as we say that like, we can't create the charge, we can't destroy the charge. But in the electric induction, we are doing like that. So answer is a no. In the electric induction, we are not doing like that. Because we not generated the charges. We only separate the charges not create the charges. So there are two things, the separation of the charges and creation of the charges. So in, in electric induction, we are separating the charges, not creating the charges. Okay. Moving ahead with the topic electric field. So what is electric field? As you saw many, many times, like uh, if you take in a ball and you throw that ball at a particular height, it will become again. Okay, when objects fall on the earth, so there will be a reason behind that. What is the reason? This is because gravitational force is present around the earth. Clear? Now, similarly, if we take another example like the magnet, if we take like two different types of poles of the magnet, as we can see, this is a south, this is a north pole. If we just try to close to each other, what they will do? They will attract each other. Okay. What is the reason behind that? The answer is simple. Because of the magnetic field is formed around the magnet. Which we studied in the class 10th or in the P6. Do you? We always understand like the charges, the field lines, the magnetic field lines basically emit from the north pole and enter from the south pole. Do you? So, this is all because of something which is a present in the nature, like gravitational field and here this is a magnetic field. So, field is a space property. Okay, point must be noted, field is the space property. So, what is electric field? So, if we just take in two types of a charges, as we take in here, like charges, similar to charges, same type charges, okay. So, they will repel each other as we studied earlier. Clear? And if we take 
to opposite charges or unlike charges what they will do your answer is correct they will attract each other okay so why this kind of a thing happen as we tell like uh, the previous one that tell later now we will discuss here this is because of an electric field which is formed around an electric charges like this so for a positive charge electric field lines always radially outward okay so the space around the charged body in which the influence of a charge can be felt this will be electric field so if i'm just talking about the electric field intensity intensity means what the mean of intensity means how much powerful the field actually okay how much powerful the field actually this is a mean of electric field intensity if the intensity will be high that means they have a maximum power for attraction or repulsion understand so let's begin with this so electric intensity is a measure strength of the electric field okay like how much power they have actually okay every charge forms an electric field around it every charge clear there will be we have a two types of a charges like a positive so radially outward electric field lines for a negative charge field lines will be radially inward okay so this is a positive so the electric intensity at any point in a electric field is a force acting on a unit positive charge which is placed at that point what is the mean of a unit positive charge unit means one that means we have taken a positive charge whose magnitude is a one so the charge whose magnitude is a one we are saying this one unit positive charge now we are represented electric field as a vector e so vector e is equals to vector f by q not okay so we have a like a, if i am just talking about the charges so we have a basically two types of charges positive and negative but if we go through the because of a nature wise how many charges are present so that will be three type what was that this will be source charge point charge and test charge So if I am just talking about what is the mean of a source charge, so the source charge is our main charge, okay? Point charge, whose magnitude is negligible. the next one is the test charge so for finding the nature of a source charge we need another charge which is called as test charge so this we are saying as a source charge detector okay source charge detector so why i am using this q not here because i just want to find out how actually the electric field strength for this particular charge so as you can see this is a big charge this is a main charge which we are saying as a source charge and for finding the nature of a source charge we need another charge which we are saying test charge understood so this is a basically detector by which we can detect that how much intensity of a source charge have clear so if i'm just talking about the vector quantity so electric field is a vector quantity because it have both direction and as well as magnitude si unit of this is a newton per coulomb and volt per meter also so the dimensions are newton per coulomb the newton is mlt minus 
and the coulomb is at or it clear we are in the both manner we can represent the current so finally the dimensions is ml t minus 3 i minus 1 or a minus 1 clear expression for electric field intensity due to a point charge if i just want to know how much intense for a particular point duration so by which we can solve this one so we have to consider a point charge as i told you there will be three type of charges by the nature which is source charge point charge and test charge so here we are considering point charge like this now the test charge because we have to detect how much intensity this will be have so we need a test charge also which is a b located distance between the a to b is r we have a given and n cap is a unit vector from a to b Okay, now Coulomb's force acting on the Q naught. Clear? So, what is the Coulomb force? That is a 1 by if two charges are placed at a particular distance, so there will be acting a Coulomb forces. Okay, which is F is equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q1 Q2 by R square. This is the Coulomb force. Further, N cap again, the which is the defines the direction of a force. I'm just equating this will be a first equation. Electric intensity at point B. This is a for point wise. So electric field intensity at point B, we have to relocate like a, at point particular B. What is the electric field strength? Intensity. Because the main responsible electricity member that rate, the main responsible field lines member is a E. So, the Q naught have a negligible magnitude of electric field by which they can't perturb this field of A. Okay, so this formula we saw and the value of electric field E is equals to, we know that is a F by Q. We, we use this equation 1. And we find out the value of E, which is a 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by R square. Because the Q naught is a terminated or cancel out by this Q naught. N cap is the showing the direction of a E. So this is in vector form. Now in this magnitude only if I am just taking. So magnitude of electric intensity showing only the things in magnitude. So this will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by R square. Here I just want to elaborate few more things that is epsilon naught showing the permittivity of free space. The mean of a permittivity which is Explain the nature of a force. Like if we just take in the two charges in the air, the force will be how much uh, like occurring that will be more attractive, that will be more repulsive. If the medium will be changed, the things will be changed. So it will be tell the nature of the medium or force. Okay. So moving ahead with this MCQ part, just focus on that question and try to give the answer. The unit of electric field intensity is Newton per coulomb, volt per meter, both A and B and, and the none of these. Students, you are giving the correct answer that is the A and B. Very good. The next question is which type of a quantity is the electric field intensity? Scalar, vector, tensor, None of these. The correct answer is vector. Next question. Electric field intensity E is also represented as F by E, Q by F, E by F or F by Q. So the correct answer for this is D. So in this series we just did a few parts of this chapter. Later we will discuss the more. Till that take care.